Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In today's episode, we take a look at yet another competitor to the console wars, the KFC console. This new competitor looked to be a joke at first, but now we are looking at some real evidence that this entry can and will deliver in the power department. Originally announced in June of 2020, and then followed up that same year in December, no one could ever imagine what will come next, but here we are now looking and talking about something that might be real in the near future. No timetable yet has been released, but we will take a look at what we know so far. The KFC console will be partnering up with PC Maker, Cooler Master, first and foremost, and now it begins to make sense. This looks to be a custom PC build than anything else. The claims are that the specs are beefy enough to run gaming at 4K and 240 frames per second. The processor will have an Intel Nook 9 Extreme Compute Element which, will house, which houses an Intel Core i9-9980HK processor. With Asus at the helm of its powered graphics card, I'm sure that there will be versions of Nvidia and AMD in support. It also has a hot swappable GPU so that you can actually have the chance at upgrading in the near future. The storage is a pair of PCI NVM Seagate Barracudas at 1TB each which is twice as many as a PS5 or Series X and four times the Series S. Not as fast probably, but still faster than your average PC. The console supports ray tracing and is also VR ready. Pretty much sounds like a PC that just looks different so far with backwards compatibility as long as you have GOG games, Steam, Epic games, and so on you are pretty much backwards compatible just like my own PC that I own now. Of course, keeping your chicken warm is a huge part of the selling point here with its warmable tray. This is done through the console's cooling system, but I wouldn't use it since it's probably not sanitary at all since you're using the air from the PC to actually keep it warm. Plus, oily fingers with controllers? No, not for me. I think it's more of a collector base item for sure. So overall, yes, I think this is very possible and if successful, we'll have more cool custom built PCs for the future. Partnering up with Cooler Master, Intel, Asus, and Seagate does make the validity that much more real to me. That's it for me on this deep look at the KFC console. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.